Hi, Daisy Talking Books. Now this can be used in many aspects. Open University use it so you can download audio books. Now here's an online PDF showing you how to do it. So I'm going to send you the link. Now scroll down until you get to where it says Daisy website because you need to download the actual program to play back Daisy Reader books. So left click Daisy website and I want you to select the first option you see here which is download Amos. Click that starts downloading bottom left hand corner it's not a big program it's only about 15 megs when it's downloaded do a left click select yes and we're now going to install it select next and you can read it if you want but select agree leave it as default program files click install this is asking you if you'd like to install for JAWS but you haven't got JAWS put no that's job access with speech you won't need that Click OK. If it's asking you to update your Java, ignore that. Click OK. Now it says run Amos 3.13. Select finish. Loading. So Loading. minimize the browser. Has focus. Ami user guide. Ami user gu paused. And I click this button up here, which pauses it. Click it again, starts it. Guide. And click it again, we'll pause it. So there you go. You now got your program desktop, and it's called. Amos. So when you start it, just double tap that icon and it will open up and this is what you'll get. Now when you open your university website, you'll have what's called Daisy Reader Books. So what you do is you download them and I'll give you an example. I'm going to go to my download folder because I've downloaded one earlier. It's not relevant to what you're doing but it's, it's a Daisy Reader book anyway. So I'm going to go to Downloads and there it is. So what I'll do is maximise that window. So it comes down what's called zipped. So it's all compressed to make it smaller. So what you do is you just double click it with the left mouse button and it opens up. But that's no good because it won't play back. Yeah, so if I double tap it, watch, you just get this. It's not what you want. So what you need to do is come back out of there with a little arrow. I don't want you to double click the zip, but I want you to right click it with the mouse. And if you come down, you've got an option that says extract tool. So right click the daisy reader file and then select extract tool by clicking the left button. Let's ask you where to extract it. Now it's going to unzip it in the same folder with the zip file with. So I always leave it as it is. Just put extract and watch. There you go. Close that window. So I've got the zip one. If I come down here, it's been unzipped. So if I open that up, we can now access it through your program. This is your Daisy Reader program. So open it up now, Amos. Go open to your folder file here. Dialog. This dialogue is not self voicing. Press escape to cancel. And I've got to click the little arrow here. So it depends on where you downloaded your original zip file. Just find it. It will only show the open one anyway because you've unzipped it. Double tap it and choose that option there. It will either be a PDF or that file HTML. Open it up and you can play it back. I'm going to click cancel Dialogue there. Closed. And I'm going to click pause. Give you a quick look at the this program that you're going to be using as well. To including its features first thing i want to do is go to file because it won't stop reading back and select preferences. preferences here you can set general preferences for all use self-voicing see that top this option untick that where it says selected press use self-voicing and click ok closed. and options and click pause okay so that means it won't read back everything on your toolbar otherwise when you hover over everything it keeps reading back and it's for people with visual impairment but you won't need that and there we go we're good to go Let's have a look what we can do. So here's all your here's all your content. So I can jump through it what all. Is Daisy? I can go right down to setting preferences. Setting preferences. And this will show you how to use the whole program styles. to start off with. Navigating. And go right what up to what is Amis. And what I'm going to do here is show you. You can use these arrows here Ami to jump logo. back and forth. Ami stands for Ami is a software. It is self-voicing, meaning that no spe And then you see I'm going to pause it. You can jump back and forth. There's first options. And the first option we saw was to open your unzipped folder you unzipped. The second one is if you've got Daisy Reader books on a disk, you click that, it will ask you to put your CD ROM into your drive and you can access the Daisy Reader books from CDs if you want. This will slow it down and speed it up when it's reading back. So if I click minus and click play. Specialized screen reading software is needed in order for it to be used. By I'm going to pause. So that's quite handy if you're trying to pick up information. The next option here could be useful. If you click on it, you can change zoom in and out quickly. So that's zooming in. 
and it makes the text a lot larger. And we come back out, we zoom back out. Also, if you click this option here, you can change the background colour to make the text easier to read. Keep tapping through it, as I'm doing now, and it'll go back to default. Last of all, at the top here, you've got an option, bookmark your current position. So if you've got a long book, you might be three quarters Getting of the way through. And you might go, actually, I want to bookmark that. Click the bookmark Fine, button. Another important option is help. Keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts. Commands for on me and I want to click pause. It's worth learning a couple of these because if it keeps reading back and you don't want it to, it might drive you a bit mad. Hope that gets you up and running on Daisy Reader books. Thanks for watching.